guys, it's John from JBD Hobbies and Interests out here with Venge. Uh, Going to have a little explore at some lime kilns. Um, and uh, yeah, see what condition they're in. And uh, got the trusty sack magic and the donk jacket on. So uh, let's go. Guys, I just I'm just walking through the woods, yeah, walking through the woods here, and takes on a bit of a different atmosphere when it's a bit foggy. It weren't the greatest weather, but, um, yeah, having a walk through there. I was like looking over to the um, left. So uh, sometimes we have deers in the woods up there, and so I kept Ben to take some photos of the deers, but there wasn't anything in it, it up there. <laughs> oh, there was trying to. Look. Sometimes you see them through the trees, but um, yeah, when it's when it's weather like that, a bit foggy and a bit rainy, sometimes you see them up there. But yeah, that was that. Yeah, well, guys, uh, on the way to uh, the kilns. Uh, just thought we'd show you this. This is um, out in the woods out here, and uh, there's people that live out here. Um, they put like masks up now and again. One further down here. I don't know if it's to scare people off, I don't know, but <laughs> a quirky thing, you know, you don't always see it in every day life. I think they like to do. Um, yeah, good film. Vampire one here. But yeah, they, you know, they hang like Halloween stuff up in the tree. And uh, yeah, whether it's the Brighton people, I don't know, but you know, it's just a bit different, isn't it? You don't see it in everyday life. Something uh, anchored strapped to a bloody pole. But yeah, there you go. Hi guys, still on route to the uh, kilns. <laughs> Uh, we come across this, it's been here for a bit of a time, I don't know if it's Second World War, I don't know if it's an entrance to a bunker, I don't know. But um, yeah, straight through here, another line goes, and then up through there. I don't know if it's Second World War, or I don't know if it's a base for an old um, uh, water tank for, the fu for a farm field, there's a farm field just over there. But uh, yeah, it's been here for some years. Or it could have even been a um, some sort of uh, guard post, because this road here, Trackway. It was used in the war. It's where we're going. It's uh, did have some um, military activity around it. So, uh, so I don't know. I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, maybe one day we'll find out. Yeah. Hi guys. We're still en route to the kilns. Um, we've got a bit of uh, history documentation to do. This is a. Uh, in the woods, it's in Kent. Um, this has been dug out in the war. And this was uh, this woods around here was used for military manoeuvres activities. And uh, what we believe we have here is uh, an Anderson shower. It's the uh, thick elephant iron. What was mass produced in the war, hence with the um, metal being. Um, uh, taken in to, uh, to the authorities to be melted down and then made into anything that the military wanted uh, in the Second World War. Guns, armour, anything like this, protection, anything. Reinforcing for shelters and all that. Um, and it's still here, you know, it's in a bit of a sorry state. Um, but I suppose I would be open to the elements and the uh, how long since the war's been passed. But um, yeah, it's still there. A bit of a uh, feature there. And um, yeah. So it's just one of those things to document. And uh, you can still see it today. Yeah. Very good. Hi guys. We're at the uh, lime kilns. We're at the uh, east side lime kilns. 
Um, I think they are, they may be 1918, I'm not sure. Um, like Waterloo time, they might be. Um, but yeah, or uh, Louis um, um, Georgian or something like that. Not with Georgian or Waterloo, something around that period of time. When horse and cart was the main transport, really, because um, this is that this is how they'd have worked. They would have bought chalk from off the top of the hill, loaded up the uh, top of it. We'll probably get them uh, get them bits if it's not too overgrown up there. Um, load it up with chalk, uh, wood, coal, chalk, wood, coal, and keep building it up in layers. And then you set it set it alight and let it burn, I don't know, two, three days probably, and then out the bottom would come quick lime, and then you'd use that in, on your fields and that for uh, fertilising, um, a natural source of uh, fertilising instead of chemicals that you use nowadays. Um, but it was using other things as well, lime, um, like uh, mortar and plaster stuff, I think my, lime was put into as well. Um, but yeah, so let's gonna have a switch of torch on and just go and have a look. Idea. So, uh, it's been a bit vandalised, which is a bit sorry, but um, that's up the top there, would be where your line would come down, as you can still see, the burning on the wall, off the heat, and you can still see some of the line what was once produced in it. But um, yeah, this is, comes down like a funnel really, and this here, with, you know, the full brick would be built there, and it would be uh, like a little doorway where you would shovel all the lime out or a, you know, some sort of um, way that you'd open the hatch and then all the lime would fall out. So, uh, yeah, that's up and, uh, in there. And it's just the, the brickwork is fantastic. It's, you know, the way it's cut in. And, you know, it's it's brilliant. All, the, all before the days of power nowadays, of... Uh, cement mixers and heavy machinery it was all done by men and horse work and, and all that and then that's what you'd have there and then you dig your lime out out from this and uh, here's the other one here you dig your lime out of these and then uh, bring that one a bit more buried in that one that is but yeah you'd uh, Dig your lime out, and then uh, you would go from there, and then probably about three or four men in here, probably digging it out, digging it out, and then uh, loading it into horse and cart out into the road here, and uh, yeah, and then going to wherever it needed to go, onto the fields or maybe masonry people had it, and. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Here we are guys, this is uh, next to the ones we've just come out of, the lime kills over there. And this is this here, it's one of the uh, funnel bits. What um, would have had the lime in it. I think there's about, there's two, I think there's about five or six round here on this bit of hill. And um, yeah, well this one sadly is no more. It's, uh, you know, had people walking up through here and you know time takes its toll as we know and uh, but this is what's been left the out the outline of the uh, funnel where the line would have been put in so probably underneath here there may even be the brickwork doorway what was just in the other one the other two over that side so um, but yeah we're gonna go up the top now and video see if we can video that bit uh, and see what state it's in uh, to look down it might be overgrown so we might not be able to do that one but we're uh, we're seeing so we, yeah right okay. see. so here we are guys this is the uh, we did make it in this is the top of the lime kiln um, this is down it this is what it'd be like this is where you would load it up with uh, the, uh, the wood, the coal, the 
wood the coal, um, the lime, then repeat. Wood, coal, lime, wood, coal, lime, and just keep building it up till you got quite high, and then set it alight and let it go burn. I don't know how long they burnt for. Uh, at least got to be about, surely it's got to be about two, three days, I would have thought. Um, Maybe wrong on that, but uh, yeah, there's the other one. That's a bit more overgrown, more treacherous to get to. But yeah, so uh, that's them. And like I said, from the other bit we just come from, they were probably about five shoots down here to be loaded up with uh, lime so they could do mass quantities of it. And uh, yeah, to go wherever it needs to go. So um, yeah. So that's that. So now we're going to go, hopefully, if it's not too dark, we will be going from here to uh, the west side kilns, which are a bit more, a bit more better preserved and a bit more going on there. So uh, yeah. Hi guys, here we are. We're at the uh, western side. What was called the western side. The other ones were the east. This is the western side kilns. Um, this is the entrance to one of them. Uh, this is a twin, I believe they're twins these. A bit like it was at the uh, eastern side ones. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a little uh, look at these. Um, sadly, these ones have been a bit destroyed due to this monstrosity being uh, built next to it. Somehow, I mean, these are about a mile away from my house, these kills are. I've grown up with these when I was a little kid, they've always been here. Um, I do remember that it used to be a metal canopy to come over these, uh, just over here. And, uh, yeah, but yeah, things change, don't they? And they, they built this monstrosity next to it. But um, yeah, so we're going to have a little venture inside and see what they're like. So yeah, the, the original iron gate there, look, what would have pulled across, and then. Uh, um, stop things coming in I guess. Get flooded out again. But uh, these are a bit more better preserved these ones. As you can see. Looks like they've been used recently, but I don't know. But I'm not too sure about the dates of these. I don't know if they was uh, they're like um, nineteen eighteen or Edwardian, I'm, I'm not too sure really. But um, yeah. They're uh, they're very remarkable and I'm so glad that they're here you know still preserved they're not being vandalized thank god got the odd bits where uh, you know it's a bit of rubbish in here but it's not totally and that looks like it's come from that place over there so uh, it's being built next to it so but yeah it's um yeah a bit of damage there but it's probably just the mortar that's come out of the wall but yeah they're pretty um pretty good there's Nothing a tyre in the wall. Tyre in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lo lovely, uh, lovely, lovely brickwork in here and that. You know, so um, it may be a poly on it. I don't think it is, but it might be. Um, on girders there. So that might give a bit of a date to it. Um, I don't know when those last used. I don't, you know, it might have been up until the uh, 20th. Yeah, um, 1920s, 30s, I'm not too sure. I doubt they would have been used in the war due to um, bombing and that. But yeah, that's that one. I think that's the better one. Um, like I say, I think it was a canopy that used to go over the top of this. Um, over this bit, just to keep you dry. I believe that there's up there also then pipe. I think that's like the drainage off the top of it. Those then there. Yeah. Yeah, the other one. So you know uh, no door on this one. The frame's there but no door. Um, but yeah. Equally the same. Um, Equally the same, still preserved. I mean, that's, that's probably like the best one out of all of them, really. That may have been rebricked at some point, that one, because that's different to that one. I think that would be an earlier one there, like it was next door. Um, and that one's a uh, later one. That's the way the bricks are going. But, um, yeah. 
is very uh, very interesting, worth looking at. Um, but yeah, I would go and do the tops, but I think to look down inside them. But I think that'd be a bit risky. It's getting a bit dark now. Um, it's getting a bit dark now, and the uh, lights going. Um, it's probably been about an hour walk for me and Benj, uh, tracking from the uh, east side to the uh, west, west side ones. So. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that. So I'll we'll just uh, go out. Now, here also had a pathway. On this one, it was a bit better than the ones that were at. Um, a bit better than the ones that are at up the. Uh, east side ones because these ones you actually would have probably loaded carts here instead of digging it out taking the line to the carts with this one you probably would have had two or three men in there shoveling and uh, loading it straight into carts at a decent level so yeah I think there was a I think there was there's one two I think there was a third one on the end here but I think that sadly uh, gone due to wear and tear and the age and that but yeah so it's uh, I think that's one of the staunching things there it had the canopy on it that there thing and it went along what I can remember when I was a kid um, so yeah yeah it's a back bit one of them looks like it's been fallen down disrepair I thought I'd let it go in now because it's a bit risky. Especially when it's getting dark. It's not been the best of days today, it's been a bit wet, but <laughs> we've coped. But yeah, so there we are. So there we are guys. Um, that was today's trip out with me and Benj. With Benj on the camera. Um, it's been an enjoyable time out, even the way the weather's been a bit down. Um, but we're British, we'll carry on. So uh, yeah, do like and subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed this and uh, see you again soon. Thank you.